I just got my mind blown by a recent video by Veritasium. And I want to blow you too. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I've got a subject that will tickle you in all the right places. Are you hearing yourself? Yes, and I'm getting excited. Just start your damn video, you're getting me horny! Wait, what? The video I'm talking about is the infinite slit video. And no, I'm not making a joke about that. Can I? No. The video is based on a thought experiment done by Richard Feynman. The idea is that all particles take all possible and impossible paths. The video then shows an experiment showing how a laser took one of these impossible paths. I shine the laser right next to it, and then if light does take every possible path, we should also see it come off here. It really does just go to one spot. I'm going to put this foil, this magic foil, and I'm gonna put it over here. No way! It works! So why is that proof that we're living in a simulation? That alone is not enough. The original double slit experiment showed how a small enough particle can interact with itself, like a wave interfering with itself. But the mind-bending part about the double slit experiment is that if you try to measure which slit the particle went through, you will stop seeing the interference pattern. What? It's what's called collapsing the wave function. But, since any measurement requires an exchange of energy, I always chalk that up as the act itself of measuring, in a way, attracting the particles such that they can't act as a wave anymore. So, if we go back to the infinite slit fetish... I thought you said no jokes about that! I lied. If light takes all possible paths, even the impossible ones, until it reaches an observer, meaning anything that interacts with it, then it stands to reason that the decision of where a particle is happens instantaneously. But why? Well, say a photon is traveling towards the two slits in the double slit experiment. As I mentioned before, if you try to measure which slit it goes through, it stops going through both, causing the interference pattern to disappear. But any picosecond delay in the collapse of the wave function will also cause it to appear in the second slit. And you can't have a two for one sale on photons. I still don't get your point. Do you even have one? Well. Calculating all the paths that light can take and then deciding on the chosen path is sort of what ray tracing is. What? As in the computer algorithm that creates realistic looking images. So we're all just stick simulated in a virtual garden? Well, I like to think of myself as more than just a stick, thank you very much. But yeah, maybe. But before you try to unplug yourself from the matrix, it might be a good idea to address the laser in the room. Now, the extra reflections shown in the video may just be scattering from the laser, combined with the special plastic sheet that forces interference patterns that aren't really there. On this piece of foil, there are about a thousand lines per millimeter. Which wouldn't really prove that light is taking all possible and impossible paths. On the other hand, this sort of theory can be seen with just a bit of bad attitude. You know, because having a polarizing attitude and three polarizing filters... I'm sorry. This collab between Minute Physics and 3 Blue 1 Brown is where I first learned about this bad attitude. I, I mean, weird quantum f But here's where things get quantumly bizarre. All these filters do is remove light. They filter it out. But if you take a third filter and orient it 45 degrees off from that first one, and then you put it in between the two, the lamp actually looks brighter. This is not the middle filter generating more light. Somehow, introducing another filter actually lets more light through. And these things really look like video game glitches when physics is pushed at the limits. But what do you think? Is this just more proof that we're living in a simulation? Or proof that we're dumber than we look? And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs down. YouTube doesn't give a f but I do, and I'll put it in the title. And if you casually click on the subscribe button while you're there, you will be unplugged from the Matrix. You know, when I started writing the script for this video, I had 169 subscribers. And I wrote down a joke to slide in that it's one next to a good time. But goddammit someone subscribed in the meantime, so I couldn't use it anymore. I mean, seriously, some people just don't have any compassion.